Hello there. Some real contrasting weather conditions across Europe at the moment. Let's try and put some detail on it. It's been very wet and very windy across Biscay and we've got this weather front that's drifting its way steadily eastwards and weather warnings out for heavy rain, even some freezing rain as it bumps into some cold air as it pushes its way through Germany um, during Tuesday. By contrast, we've got some bitterly cold air across Scandinavia and Russia still. And then down through the Mediterranean, despite a few scattered showers, things are largely fine and quiet. So we're looking at high teens, perhaps towards the Greek Isles with some showers here. Good deal of dry weather generally through the Western Mediterranean. There's that wet and windy weather pushing its way into Portugal, across Biscay, through France and into Germany. And there's the cold air across Scandinavia, bitterly cold air, particularly the further north you go as well. So so that's the story through Tuesday into Wednesday. We've still got some heavy rain to clear away through Germany and push its way into Poland. The Mediterranean stays fine and settled. Let's see if that's going to continue as we go through the week. Well, the city forecasts show an improving picture, certainly for London and Paris, a little bit drier, but colder by the end of the week and into the weekend. Now, across much of Eastern Europe, it stays cold across Moscow, as you can see quite clearly, with temperatures struggling to climb above freezing. Hello there. A cold plunge of air descending all the way out of Canada is going to play a significant part in the weather story across North America over the next few days. That cold air is going to push as far south as Florida as well. It's going to have an impact across that eastern seaboard because we'll see some significant snow. Very windy as well, blizzard-like conditions. New York City could see two feet of snow before that storm clears through during Monday night and into Tuesday. Behind it, a quite a story across the Rockies. Yes, we've got another storm pushing in from the Pacific Northwest, but here it's noticeably milder. On the leading edge and to higher ground, there will be some snow, but it's going to be rain close to the coast. That pushes its way into parts of California as well as we go through the week. So eventually we will start to see some rain moving towards San Francisco. Here's our city forecast then over the next few days. Yes, some rain to come on Tuesday, but a quick improvement as we move into Wednesday. Let's take a look at the eastern seaboard though about that significant storm and you can see the uh, snow falling, strong winds as well, blizzard-like conditions here. Behind it, the cold air is going to slowly start to infiltrate down into parts of Georgia and into Florida as well. Overnight, we could see lows perhaps just a couple of degrees above freezing. By daytime temperatures, well, in terms of Celsius, we're looking at Miami into the mid to high teens. Hello there. Let's take a look at the forecast for South Asia before moving on to Central Asia. It's the usual suspects at this time of year with fog in the northeast, which could be pretty dense and slow to clear away. Also, there'll be some snow showers across the Himalayas. At the same time, we've got monsoon showers affecting Sri Lanka. That's going to be the story for the next few days. Some of those showers really quite intense indeed. There will be a few sh snow showers as well up into the far northwest towards Jammu and Kashmir. Not expected to be too significant, but it's worth bearing in mind. Now let's take a look at Central Asia in a little more detail. And it's all about the cold really that's sitting in Kazakhstan where those temperatures are going to be way below freezing as a daytime maximum. There will be a few isolated showers close towards the Afghanistan, Pakistan area, not amounting to too much. As I say, there'll be some sh snow showers across the Himalayas and as well. Now moving its way down through India, a good deal of fine dry weather. There are those sharp showers we're talking about into Sri Lanka and where the fog may well linger, well that will mean that the temperatures will struggle up into the north and east by day as well. So a good deal of dry weather, a good deal of sunshine to be found as well. The showers keep going through Sri Lanka as we go through the week. The cold air though continues to sit across Kazakhstan and those temperatures will struggle over the next few days. Hello there. Plenty to talk about in Africa at the moment. Let's start off with a satellite picture where it's just picking up a little bit of cloud moving towards Egypt. We could have a few thundery downpours across 
the north coast there. Some extreme heat in Egypt at the moment. Some shower cloud as well. And we've seen some intense rainfall across the northeast of South Africa into Botswana, uh, parts of Zimbabwe and also into Mozambique. And those showers are going to continue over the next few days. At the same time, we've got some warmth across the far north of Africa and that's having an impact on the temperatures as well. I'll come back to that in just a moment. Cape Town will stay dry, settled and sunny. By contrast, Johannesburg it keeps the sharp showers going. But just take a look at Marrakesh. We're expecting those temperatures to be in the high 20s on Tuesday, way above the average for the time of year. And the temperatures ease off as we head towards the weekend. Across to the Middle East, where things are a little bit more straightforward, it's a relatively fine, settled story at the moment, a good deal of sunshine. Light winds across the Arabian Peninsula. We could see a little bit of fog, an issue first thing in the morning. We're not expecting it to cause too many problems, but it's uh, worth pointing out. Let's take a look at the city forecast, see if there's any major changes. Fine, settled and sunny for many, with temperatures peaking in the high 20s, low 30s. Take care. Hello there. Nothing particularly unusual with the weather set up across South America at the moment. If we take a look at the satellite picture, you can see there's a weather front across the far south. We've also got this trailing weather front down through southern Brazil, northern Argentina and parts of Paraguay. And that's going to bring some rain. It will gradually drift its way steadily northwards over the next couple of days. And then we've got our seasonal rains close to the Amazon basin as well. Some of these fairly enhanced across parts of Venezuela and Colombia and parts of northern Peru as well. Also into western areas of Brazil. So there will be some showers moving their way through southern Brazil, particularly through northern Argentina on Monday and into parts of Paraguay. We will see a few scattered showers as well into northern Chile, wet and windier conditions down to the far south as that weather front sweeps its way through. So this is the city forecast then. The rain moves out of northern Argentina up towards Rio de Janeiro over the next few days, but still those temperatures into the low 30s. As for Mexico, a few scattered showers here, but not really amounting to too much. The same for Central America. We've got a weak weather front just draping its way through Cuba, and that could have an impact on the temperatures over the next few days, but they will quickly recover as we go through the week. And there's a good deal of sunshine to be found across much of the Caribbean. So you can see in Havana, we'll see those temperatures down into the low 20s, but quickly recovering by Saturday. Hello there. A forecast for Australia and New Zealand coming up shortly and plenty to talk about there at the moment. But first of all, let's take a look at what's happening across Asia. Satellite picture is picking up some pretty intense shower clouds across Indonesia and the southern Philippines at the moment. But the real talking point is unusual warmth across China. Now that's having a knock on effect because as this frontal system moves away from Japan, it's pretty cold with still some snow showers to come. But that warmth descends as far south as Hong Kong. Temperatures into the mid 20s this week they should be around 18 or 19 degrees as a maximum for the beginning of February so you can see how we stay pretty unsettled in Tokyo for the next few days but Hong Kong keeps that warmth going right throughout the week now for Australia we've got a storm that's moving just off the coast of uh, northwest Australia that could be named as Marianne before it eases away we've got a storm as well affecting Vanuatu and New Caledonia fairly active weather front moving away from the eastern seaboard and then behind a trail of sharp and thundery downpours to follow that weather front may well just start to encroach towards the South Island of New Zealand as well as we go through the middle part of the week so we'll need to keep an eye on that so plenty to talk about there'll be more details on our five-day city forecast but just take a look Exmouth across that northwest coast of Australia stays pretty unsettled. 